Okay, so I may know why one of Ted's shoes was tied differently. The killer was looking for something. In his shoes? Yep. At the time of his death, Ted had a coin in his right sock. Due to rigor mortis, an impression remained, including these faint markings. You see that? Yeah. Wow. Hey, Kessel. You with us? Yeah, yeah, of course. Uh, let me get this straight. So, uh, after Ted was shot, the killer took and the sock, grabbed the coin, and then put the shoe and sock back on? Must have been a valuable coin. Actually, it wasn't. I did some enhancement, and based on the coin's diameter and the markings, we've identified it as an Iranian real, worth less than a penny. Wow, an Iranian real, huh? Castle? No theories on international intrigue or covert espionage? We really don't have the information to speculate at this point. Okay. Were you able to narrow down where Ted was killed? No, but I did check his stomach contents, and I can tell you this. Approximately 15 minutes before his death, Ted ate clams and funnel cake. Can you believe that? Ugh. Lady, you slice open dead people for a living, and you're grossed out by that. Even I have my limits. Okay, fine. Uh, clams and funnel cake. That sounds like he had amusement park food. Right. And the hydraulic fluid and red paint on Ted's clothes? He was at an amusement park, and I can tell you which one. How? Well, as a connoisseur of carny food, there's only one amusement park that has both fried clams and funnel cake, and that park is... Coney Island. Island. Okay, you two creep me out when you do that shared brain thing. Uh, I... Hey, I, for, I forgot. I have, to, I have to drop by my publishers. We're gonna look at the galley. There's another uh, for the Derek Storm novels. There's the galley. The, 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 the,